Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with our Jaspies 2018 Panini Prism first off the line mixer. Mixer number five featuring two helmets. So one mini helmet from TriStar right here, and then one full size helmet right back there by Leaf. We'll grab that. We'll do that last. Big thank you to these folks for getting to the action. One spot gets you two teams. And all 32 teams are in. Let's randomize each list. Five and a one, six times. Your name's first one, two, three, four, five, and a one, six times. We've got Cody Venn on the pole, down to Jeff Goldhaber in the 32 spot. Five and a one, six times for the teams. One, two, three, four, Five and a one. Six times. Chargers on top down to the Eagles. All right, Cody with the Chargers. John with the Bears. Barry, you got the uh, Chiefs with one of your last spot mojos and the Bengals with your other last spot mojo star. Jeff G, Rams, Niners, Michael Gallucci, my Raiders, Justin with the Browns, Steven, you got the Giants and the uh, Vikings, Jeff with the Seahawks, Jared with the Cowboys, John Hyanga with the Ravens, Cody, you got the Dolphins, Aaron with the Titans, Will uh, with the Packers, Cairo, you got the Panthers, Michael Gallucci, Jets, Jeff Goldhaber with the Steelers, Paul Nixon, you got the Buccaneers, Justin with the Broncos, Aaron with the Lions, Jeff with the Falcons, Mark with the Jags, Jarrett with the Redskins, John with the Patriots and the Bills, Paul with the Cardinals, Mark with the Saints, Will with the Texans, Fidel Cairo with the Colts, and Jeff Goldhaber with the Philadelphia Eagles. Sort by team. I remember this prism is 2018, by the way. Maybe Jets for Steelers. Jeff Goldhaber. Eric Wine saying, Joe, I was thinking about this. I've pulled three different triple autos from XR. Yeah, right. One for the Eagles, Saints, from that one case. Yeah. That was pretty nice. Bucks for Browns confirmed. Put a little T next to those names so we can keep track of it. If you're keeping score at home. I don't think, I think no on that Jets for uh, Steelers trade. Unless Jeff Goldhaber pipes in just in a, in a moment here. We'll give it a couple seconds. Otherwise, we'll have to go. So we'll do the 2018 Prism Football first. Then we'll do the mini helmet. Then we'll do the full-size helmet. Ah, there's Jeff. Jets for Steelers is fine. That'll make Steel Curtain happy. Steel Curtain getting a Steelers. And Steel Curtain reconfirms. Excellent. You guys are all my witnesses there too. Although th this is on tape, so we're putting this on wax. Lowercase t for that one. Yeah, Jesse, why why would Steel Curtain want the steel? All right, trade window closed. Good luck, everybody. TWC means trade window closed.
All right, so the final printout. That's how it all shakes out. Good luck, everybody. All right, so we'll do these guys first. perilously that way all right happy Tuesday everybody thanks for joining me and jazkyscasebreaks.com my first night of the week we break seven nights a week now though but I had my little weekend now I'm back with you guys for another from Tuesday through Saturday Nick Jaspi will break with you on Sunday and Mondays So we'll, we'll do abbreviated nights on Sundays and Mondays with Nick Jaspi, and then you get more of the, the full nights with myself Tuesday through Saturday. So thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for joining us. Now this break will be over before you know it. So if you want to keep going tonight, ladies and gentlemen, jaspiescasebreaks.com. Check it out. Twenty out of twenty-five. Minka Fitzpatrick, autograph. Nice. I think this parallel is unique to the first off the line. Dolphins. Cody Venn. There you go, Cody. And there's Tevin Coleman camo to twenty-five as well. That is for Jeff Goldhaber and the Falcons. Eric Wyan. I just saw that question, Joe. If you could add up all the huge hits we pulled throughout the years, how much do you think is the total value? That's a good question, especially since we've we've pulled hits that are, you know, that are in. If you count all, if you you know count the old side and all that stuff. If you count like, like the Connor McDavid rookie auto rookie RPAs we pulled from like the Cup, plus all the super fractures we pulled of huge players during their rookie years. All the flawless like NBA RPAs that go that sell for like close to ten thousand dollars. I mean, <laughs> probably a probably a lot. Out of forty nine, Russell Gage. Um, that'll be for the Falcons. That'll go to uh, Jeff Goldhaber. Out of two forty nine, Vernon Davis. No, it's got to be more than $500,000 plus, right? Because all these other hits too, the $50 hits, the $100 hits, the $400, all those add up too. So think about how many breaks we do on a given night, you know, breaking consistently for the last four years. You know, Arthur's one of one Aaron Rodgers out of Spectre that we pulled him the other night. You know, there's Josh Jackson. Um, I mean, yeah, those autographed jerseys that we've been doing, the, you know, add all of those up. I think I think it'd be I think it'd be a lot. Out of one forty nine, Trubisky for the Bears. Points. I mean, even these add up on a secondary market. We'll randomize that to one person in the break. And if there's more, we'll we'll add it up as one lot. There's Kevin Coleman to 99. Wonder if Nick, Nick Jaspi, are you listening by chance? What do you think? It's got to be. I mean, we only think we're only thinking about the big hits, right? But think about all the all the other like smaller hits too. They all add up. That's uh, Tremaine Edmonds cracked ice seventy five for the Bills. That'll be for John. 
all those add up. And if you count like, you know, every die cut being 25 cents and every base card being 5 cents. You know, Kike Kuti die cut going to Will and the Texans. I mean, all this adds up. Yeah, I mean, this could be... I mean, I'm I'm thinking in my head what our internal sales numbers are, and I'm thinking, man, you got we got to be able to like value wise. There's going to be cases right that are worth more than the case, and there are plenty of cases that aren't worth as much as the cost of the case, right? Without going into numbers, there's one out of nine Antonio Callaway, Paul Nixon Browns, getting the nice Antonio Callaway out of nine. So if we think about all that and think like, even if conservatively we've, I don't know, like if every case was worth at least 75% of its price, 60% of its price even, it'd be a lot. It'd be a lot. I mean, I don't want to give away our sales numbers or anything like that, you know, or internal business numbers, but I'm going to do this randomizer first. I want to close out with the helmets, not with the points randomizer I don't know it'd be a lot I, 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 th I think it would be 2.83 million <laughs> says Brandon he's like that sounds good to me might be close to that all right um over the last four years from Paul down to Jarrett K everyone has a shot at the consolation points right there let's roll the dice uh six times one two Three, four, five, six. <laughs> right, it's my test. Yeah, Tesla money. Uh, Aaron C. Out of two fifty, uh, the two fifty. Also, these uh, first off the lines. The some people people have been saying that these. Um, I think these are one per case. Sometimes these will sell better than this guy's autograph. All right, so Aaron. You'll get the little, little consolation prize there. 250 points. And we'll close out with the helmets. Oh man, Teslas and Johnny Walker Blues. Not at the same time, folks. Drink responsibly. Drive safely. Don't drink and drive. Not even drive safe. Don't drink and drive. Just don't do it. Mini helmet first. Um, <laughs> my toilet solid gold. No, I don't have solid gold toilet money yet. We, we might have to sell a few more flawless cases to get get to that point. Um, quick little note: if we happen to pull, I don't know if this is going to happen, but just to cover our butts here, if we happen to pull, yeah, there we go. A college helmet. This is obvious, but college helmet. Right, and if, if that person, if that player is active, then it'll go to the team that he is currently on. Obviously, that'll go to the New York Football Giants. Um, if for whatever reason it's a college helmet of a player that's not active, then it'll go to the team that uh, that he played for the longest. Same with the coach too. If it's like obvious, like coach one, not a player one. I don't know. Hopefully, we don't have to deal with the coach. The coach stuff is hard because a lot of times they played professionally. All right. Now, what I like about TriStar is that they give us these. Uh, these little game show cards right here. All right. Who am I? Part of the College Football Hall of Fame, 1983. I was your 1973 NFL NFC. Cuts off half the league. Defensive Player of the Year. 1973 AP, not Arthur Peru, but Associated Press. Second Team All-Pro Selection. 1969 AP, First Team All-Pro Selection. A five-time Pro Bowl selection, selectee, selector, selectee, selection, and he's a Super Bowl champ. And part of this team's Ring of Honor back in 1989. Who am I? Anyone want to venture a guess? Ooh, okay, okay. You got, I think uh, 
Paul and Arthur are getting close. Mr. Mike's daddy, too. Close. It is the Cowboys. It's Leroy Johnson. Played his entire career with the Cowboys from 1963 to 1976. Went to Alabama. I think he played under Bear Bryant. And was an NFL draft number one First round pick, six overall. Nice Cowboys star there, and there is his autograph. Nice. Leroy Jordan. Jordan, I meant. Leroy Jenkins. I say Johnson. Who was I thinking of? Is there a Roy Johnson? A Lee Johnson? All right, so that goes to the Cowboys. Got distracted. That'll go to Jarrett K and the Cowboys. Leroy Jenkins. Write all this down. Mixer number five. All right. Full size helmet time. I wish Le Leaf, you need to do a friendly suggestion. Leaf, you don't have to take the advice, but I would like those informational cards right here too. I must have saw something on TV or something that said Johnson. <laughs> I don't know why I said Johnson. So I think of Larry Johnson. I'm watching basketball. All right, all right. This is interesting. Another old school guy. I can I can pull up his Wikipedia and do his uh and do his thing. Um, I'm a two-time, who am I? I'm a two-time Super Bowl champ, a one-time Super Bowl MVP, six-time Pro Bowler, second-team All-Pro in 1971, NFL Man of the Year, Burt Bell Award, NFL Passing Touchdown Leader in the early 70s, four-time, so quarterback, four-time NFL Passer Rating Leader, again, early 70s through late 70s, Part of the NFL 1970s All-Decade Team, this team's Ring of Honor, a Heisman Trophy winner in the early 60s, Maxwell Award, Chick, Chick, Chick Harley? Chick Harley Award, UPI Player of the Year, Sporting News Player of the Year, Unanimous All-American 1963, his Navy Midshipman number 12 retired. I think MH and TP has got it. M and T. Not bad, <laughs> Jeff Goldaver. He has 153 touchdowns to 109 interceptions, passed for 22,700 yards. Pro Football Hall of Famer, of course. Captain Comeback, Captain America, Roger the Dodger, Roger Staubach. Another cowboy helmet, but this time it's a full-size helmet. No, not Tebow or RG3. They wish. Let's see if we can... Nice. There's the... There's the leaf card right inside here. And there it is. There's his autograph. Nice, that's really cool.
There you go. Leaf Authentic sticker right there as well. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Nice one for the Cowboys. Jarrett K sweeping the uh, the two helmets in this break. Thanks for getting in, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I think we have more of these full-size helmets hiding around somewhere. So maybe you'll see some more breaks with those. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.